What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Greece. So to run off happened last time, the Americans joined the war yesterday. And fortunately it's one of their armies from the from their more native regions, so they're not that good. Volunteer infantry, native musketmen. I'd feel confident defending against them. Let's just put it that way. Um, and so I've basically garrisoned, I've moved my troops from Jerusalem to Syria, considering everyone seems to have more of a Everyone seems to be bothered about Syria more than anything else, so I'm going to take the gamble and leave Jerusalem undefended, mainly because it's also not worth as much. This is worth 300, Damascus is worth 800. So, that's happening. And I'm also sending a mighty crusade eastwards to Baghdad, because I need to destroy the Mamluks to get rid of all of these blockading ships. And the French also attacked Athens and we repelled them magnificently. And it looks like they're rebalanced, they're reinforcing to try again with some more elite troops. However, thankfully, because Athens is just broken, um, then we don't have to worry about it so much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit... Uh, well, make sure nothing else happened. I'm not even bothered to do raids. Oh yes, we got two more guard units, didn't we? Cool. And then, oh god, twelve hundred. What do we? What can I stop spending money on? I don't think there's very much I can stop spending money on. Unless I chose my port. But that's minus 1200. Um, hmm. Okay, can I sell you any tech? Uh, I'll give you that for. Indefinite military access. Come on, you can go make your troops go through my territory forever. Minor nations, Mamelukes. Request peace. So if we're going to bankruptcy. Okay, policies. It makes my town shrink, but it will... It's not good for growth, but as long as I stay alive... It's, yeah, growth minus 41 a turn. That's huge. So I'm probably going to want to do that. To stay slightly positive. <laughs> and then just hope... Hope I can get that sorted in two turns. So the Americans are on the way. Ooh, and they're going to actually attack me straight off the bat. Okay. Well, let's defend. Rather well, good at good in close quarters combat. My guys aren't terrible, and they also have the advantage to blow the crap out of them before they even get near me. And they have no artillery, so they can't guarantee make their way in with um with foot artillery. To um, so all I have to do is just defend the walls, which I think with this army should be enough. Oh no. He says, not realising what's happened. And I can't yet deploy. Okay, so... These goes down here. Let's put file icon citizenry up here. Probably you know conscripts on the side. And probably another file icon citizenry unit here. And everyone seems to want to go for the breaches, so let's put these guys on with pikes behind. Let's put an African guard inside the building. Let's put a unit of 
line infantry here to fire on the flanks of whoever gets through. Similar here. That needs to be two units of foot line infantry, which might not be a bad idea to put up on the walls. I'm still going to put you up here because I'm not really good at anything else. Okay, let's do this. And then let's speed up time. Yep, so we're going to blow the crap out of them with our artillery advantage. There's lots of militias and native auxiliary units, but I'm hoping the AI decides that the, the breach is too tempting of a target to miss and decides that, you know what, I think I'm going to go for it. The native musketman auxiliary. Wow, I missed the first unit, hit the Hessian unit. So these guys need to follow this native musketman unit. Yes, ignore the good. These guys, these guys are in position to shoot the crap out of them. And these guys get to enter the charnel house. Square. Good there, routing. The militia made it into combat with one of my guard units, but they're going to be pecked at from these chaps. This is why I don't like placing like these units here, because these guys will fire into the back. Okay, so these musketmen are coming back because they've gone invisible. It's broken. some more native musketmen in the square. Perfect. Hopefully these guys man start manning their guns and start firing at the household cavalry back here because that's quite a good death toll. Lots of cavalry though. Lots of cavalry. Good. We've started firing the artillery again. I think they won't commit their cavalry until until they until they run out of infantry. So let's make these guys form pike walls, waiting for the infantry to charge, the cavalry to charge. Ready. Present. Fire. Oh, still moving in. I 
as they get slaughtered. Damn right, break off attack. Do you know who you're attacking? This is the goddamn Greeks. Hopefully these guys present and shoot. Shoot, damn it. Good, I also got one of those chaps. Well, they are moving up. Let's watch the artillery shells go and do this. Too short. Done well, though. Oh, God, that's a good shot. Speed up time a little bit because they're going to gradually fail or keep failing to send guys into the breach. The 22nd is trying again, didn't make it to the actually inside this time. So let's just triple speed it because. Actually shooting at them anymore so if I just move you back will that cause these guys to do something because they don't have a target anymore and so then let's run you back into position to begin shooting at them again These guys are going to engage. There we go. You thought you were gaining ground. The 11th Regiment of Militia. Good. So they're falling back. So now... I don't know how they want to play it. They're getting picked at. That's why they're wavering. This armed citizenry has a has a line on them. It'd be great if they could make the route, but they're wavering at the drop of a hat, so it sh shouldn't take that many more kills to cause them to actually route. More or less every time someone dies, they waver. So they've almost cut the this first cavalry unit in half. Beautiful. Seventy-one. Trippers, these are <laughs> these are these are armed citizenry. So this could take a while. But what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to pause the recording here, and then bring you guys back when something actually happens because it's possible that nothing else will for the next uh, three quarters of the battle so I'll see you guys in a second and we're back and nothing did happen they never advanced all that happened was this cavalry routed and we finally managed to make this unit on the corner route but that was the end so the heroic victory for us uh, Damascus so that means that we've probably got a good model for how to defend against the Mamluks when they arrive, and this American force was completely and utterly denatured. The navy is on the move. It's probably going to blockade me. Oh no, looks like they're going back to America. Potentially to get another army. Um, but I'd like to think that the more they focus on trying to ship armies over to me, then the more problems they're going to have in the long run. Uh oh, that's a lot of recruitment by the French. Okay, they've deployed a navy, an army route, which is okay. Yeah, the French navy is going to be pretty, pretty, uh, pretty critical to try and defeat, but we can't really defeat them. I mean, I could build a navy, but right now I, I need uh, all the troops I've got. 
can't really get rid of anymore. So yeah, things are things are looking a bit grim. But when my navy's when my port's repaired, I want to then go and um, remove the policies, reduce the policies on my on my cities because if I cannot rely on trade and I can't need to grow my territories it looks like it looks and I need to send my gentleman there to a French in order to maintain that level of parity I think the Ottomans are doing clans and they are just moving big stacks of troops around and I'm not quite how because they've got I don't know, they've actually they're, they're regions and anchors, and if they're not like me and they've not got a load of people, then you can do a lot of stuff. But my plan about the Mamelukes can send, hopefully, anchor, and then really start to to kick it into high gear with when it comes to money. Because right now, I'm I just I'm just so very poor. Oops, there's the Russians on the move. Pushing the Ottomans back, but at least the Ottomans and the Prussians are at, the Ottomans and the, the Russians are at war. The Swedes have knocked out Denmark, finally, by the looks of it. How long before Sweden declares on me? Because you see a whole shipload of <laughs> a navy load of troops. Oh, no, they're attacking Russia. Good. I say good. Well I suppose it is good. It stops Russia from being able to attack me, and Russia didn't come to my aid. Against the Oh, poor me. Oh well. There are not enough funds left in your treasury to build anything this turn. Increasing taxation and trade, or disbanding... But there is a next turn. Will raise your income. There is a next turn. Lost trade route raided. France has got a steamship, of course it has. Damascus is besieged, so we'll probably have to sally. Or I might just withstand it for a bit. Okay, policies. Knock that back down. So it's going to cut me down quite a lot, but it's going to mean my towns are growing again. And instead, let's continue the march. I don't know if I'm going to want to um, assault it. I may just want to siege it and try and hold on with Damascus. Because right now, there, I'm not worried about them. I've got a bit of cash. Which I can't really... Well, I don't know. I can't spend it at all. Can't recruit anything in here. But I suppose I'm going to spend it on doing a bit of replenishment on something. Yeah, beef up my guards. That's something to do at least. Then let's hit and turn again. Oh, and that's my general... Gentleman. Right, note down. Gentleman. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, underline, underline. Ah, here comes another army, navy army, on the way. But if I withstand it as well as I withstood the Mamelukes, things are okay. Although I need to check if they've got artillery. I hope they don't. I hope it's another army on the way. But you never know. Oh god, here comes another French army on the on the way. God, see if I started. See if I capture. So if I captured Baghdad and I got good relations with Persia, because the concern is I then have bad relations with Persia. I want good relations with Persia. I want to seal them. I want to. I'm probably going to want to attack them and then not attack them. Sorry. Attack, well, capture Baghdad and then give them an immediate friendship thing and say, let's let's agree to trade and, you know, all that stuff. Because right now I don't really want to. Hold on, let's do just that. I'm not giving you anything for it, Prussia. I'm already at war with everyone. And this is when the Ottomans also declare on me, because I'm really exposed. I suppose depending on... No, I was about to say, depending on what the Baghdad garrison was, I could... 
save Damascus in one turn, but I don't think I'm going to be doing an assault. I'm going to want to hunker down and force them to attack me, and I'm probably going to need to sally out of Damascus as is. Oh, the Swedes are ruining my trade. So the Mamluks are moving. Okay. This, okay, they've left... Okay. Uh, oh, okay, that's actually better. That's better. That's much better. Because they've got artillery. They can make alternate boost of my damage before they start to make new gaps. Actually, this garrison becomes a nice strong little force that I might even send to attack the uh, no well I'm at peace with the Ottomans currently hmm okay hold on so a lovely breach that doesn't still it's now we've cleaned up all the dead American bodies okay so let's conscript you that But I'm going to want to do something similar to what I did. So I'm going to absolutely want to do. That's my weakest unit. Put my African guards in there again. Put a unit here. Because I may as well. Put a unit here. Because I may as well. And it still gives me quite a nice selection of troops to actually put other places. Actually, I may deploy you here with this. Preempting a breach is probably going to be made here. Then, nope. See, I almost did it. Almost. Deploy my mortars back here. Probably in little bunkers. Deploy. So let's bring you guys back down here, actually, and put a unit of conscripts up on this section of the wall. I don't even want my conscripts up here. Up here. In which case, then you can stay up here. What I don't need is you guys. Yep. Gonna make a breach, so. Probably gonna move you guys off the wall. The conscripts will be set, will be okay up there, they'll be fine. Okay, I may pull them. Can you guys come down here? These guys can deal with the Azars and to be honest they'll probably make a breach before before they can actually attack it, so if they want to just go for it, that's fine. Kurdish hillmen are on the move. Right now I just need people to get off the walls. So get my conscripts up. Just keep moving. Fire your cannons at them now. I might actually keep you guys up here for now. Don't worry lads, you'll have some targets soon enough.
fire, man. Make sure that you guys all have guard mode on. Good. Then you guys get into position and you'll be able to fire onto the troops that try to move up the breaches. You're climbing up. Ooh, you are actually trying to... You're Israelis and you're routing because you're going to get engaged by everyone else. being shot down while they move up the up the walls. Just keep attacking because they're already routing and they're routing upwards. These guys are the new ones. You guys are about to maul these chaps as they run towards you. Shoot, weren't you? Yes, you should be concerned about your routing friends. We're just slaughtering you. We're making a second breach. This guy's actually going after some of the other chaps. Only 99 men remaining though, so let's bring these guys into the fold. Okay, we are gaining a foothold. Jim's bodyguard is running around making a scout for himself. you back. And you guys just take up a position here, manning some guns. Here comes the general's bodyguard. He's had enough of this entire endeavour. As does this general's bodyguard. Oh, 
poor chaps. Some of them are going to make it around, but not enough. If you guys want to stay involved, stay involved. Another general's bodyguard. Where's the general general? He's dead, that's what he is. What about this guy? Got so many dead cavalrymen. Shaken, wavering. The mortars are wavering. It's understandable if you guys were out, because there's only 40 of you. I think these guys getting shot in the back by their helmet is upsetting them too. Good. Just engage them because they're, tr they're trying to route through you. Which is delicious from a troop killing perspective. Don't you ever come back here again! You hear me? Never! Cool. So they've routed. There's another breach. So let's just put you guys in a line just in case. No, you guys come back. You guys stay here. Comes another assault. Hillman have routed. This is the first autos coming back. Got my triple speed in now because the armies have effectively been destroyed. And these chaps are going to get absolutely mauled. Oh no. They're going to attack up here instead. So these guys get a drop on them. Yep, and then they're routing. Perfect. Should have some cavalry to move out and begin. These gunners did gunners if they did disembark, either that or they're invisible. Some Dari horsemen, some Dari pikemen. One of their general units has been killed. Because they're now focusing on these guys on the wall. Waters are still firing at will, but I don't get what at. These camel gunners? You know what might be a bit of a gamble? I'll take you guys. Position you here. See if you can turn that one gun. 
to engage against the their artillery. Nope, you can just die. Let's get you back and let's get you back. Let's probably bring you over here too. Okie dokie guys, so basing on, basing on what I think the computer's going to do is it's going to sit there and then just poke at me with artillery for a long time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the recording here and then bring you guys back when something happens. So see you in a sec guys, again. Rightio guys, and we're back. The only real difference that's happened is that, that those artillery teams just made a few more holes, which isn't the end of the world. Um because we've been defending pretty good recently. Let's end the battle there. Heroic victory. Here we get on replenishing our troops in Syria and also probably building some more because that American stack is inbound. The opportunity to construct useful buildings here. I don't care. Well, let's maybe replenish what we've got first as a matter of urgency and then I'll take I'll take you wait a minute. Hold the phone. Let's move these guys over from Damascus. Good. Now you guys have a problem. I'm not gonna assault that. I'm gonna let you guys attack me and I'm gonna just erode the heck out of you. Hanover's been destroyed by Prussia. Interesting, like it. Prussia's at war with Dagestan, Westphalia, France is still at war with just me. Let's just try peace again, because you never know. See, they're just unfriendly now. Even though I will rule this day. So what new army is coming this way? Okay, so they've got their own artillery, but to be honest, most of the uh, most of my walls are now destroyed, so that itself is not a game changer. Let's see what would be handy is if I had some howitzers, but I can't build with well, any place I can build howitzers. I can't build howitzers anyway because I've not upgraded the site. So I'm probably going to go for a militia unit because militias are still. They're still useful themselves. And then that's yeah, it's not a bad, not a bad garrison. Um, it probably get better if I can convert more of the population. I'm, I think that's how it works, or it might just be a function of pure numbers. Okay, so last thing I do before I screw it up. Yep. So the Ru yes, the Russians are pushing on Istanbul, so I'm going to want to get back. Which ultimately means I'm probably going to be at war with the Russians. In which case... Diplomacy. I don't want to because they're, they're Russian dogs. Damn it. For Great Britain. I can't ally because I don't ally with one of my enemies. Oh, the ally with Grand Colombia. God damn it. Request peace. <laughs> what about that? No, I'm not giving you Syria. What? Everyone wants Syria. No, they're not having it. No, I refuse. But anyway, I've got my gentleman on the move, ready to start to steal tech from the French. Cool. And who's here coming? Got some grenadiers. Got some, yeah, not bad troops. Spend a little bit of extra cash on doing some more recruitment. Cool. You're still on the go. Hit end turn. And this will be the last action of this turn. If we get attacked, then I will... They're, coming, they're attacking from a different way, interestingly. But looking at the timer, that's definitely the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the another defence of Damascus. All right, cheers, guys.